Finding your pace for low heart rate running can be really, really difficult. Some people even comment that it's impossible. But I've got a strategy that you can implement in order to help you find your specific low heart rate training pace. Now again, this is good for not just math, but also zone two training. Whatever your range is, use this strategy to get you to your heart rate range that you are desiring. So let's jump right into this. Number one, you've got to drop the ego. This means taking any and all comparison that you may make between you and other runners and throwing it out the window. This is when you're out on a run, it's when you're doing training group runs, and it's when you're doing your scrolling through Strava. The point of low heart rate training is not to be faster than the next guy. The point is to train your heart muscle and your efficiency of your cardiovascular system and to slowly and gradually build connective tissue strength in your lower extremities. Now the truth is you don't need to compare yourself to other people in order to build your aerobic capacity and your connective tissue strength. Remember, we're not elites here. We're just trying to stay healthy and to improve gradually over time. So there's tip number one, drop the ego. Moving on to tip number two. And tip number two is jog in place. And you may be thinking, well, what's the point of jogging in place? This isn't helping me actually cover ground and actually work on running. Give me one second. Now the point here is to get your body used to the impact and the motion of running while still being able to maintain your specific heart rate zone. Now there's two really important keys to this. Number one, you should be comfortable whenever you are running in place. You shouldn't feel like anything is straining or anything like that. Number two, you should be completely and 100% conversational. You should be able to hold a conversation with somebody who's literally standing right next to you. Now the key to knowing whether you're able to maintain this and still maintain your math zone is you're gonna have to do this for about five minutes. This allows for the heart rate to ramp up and find its sweet spot and start to carry its way through. After five minutes, you should have a pretty good idea of whether you can maintain your heart rate in your specific training zone or below it. Preferably, you should be able to keep your heart rate significantly below your specific target heart rate. And from there, you'll move to number three. In tip number three, you're going to start inching your way forward. And when I say inching forward, I literally mean you are moving one to two inches with every single step. Now your body's starting to actually get used to traveling forward while maintaining your specific heart rate. Now I'm not saying you have to get a tape measure out and say, oh, I'm going two inches with every step. But the point is these steps need to be really, really small. And every minute or so, you're just going to increase that step length just by another inch or two. But again, you need to spend about a minute or so kind of dialing in each one of these little paces so your body can start to accommodate and understand what it is you're trying to get it to do. Now in these three steps, we're using a principle called graded exposure, where we're gradually exposing you to more and more intensity up to your specific target heart rate. Now with both math and zone two, you're usually gonna have a range that you're shooting for, not just one specific number. So when you do run up into the bottom part of that range, that's where I want you to stop. Not stop running, but stop the progression, stop the gradual exposure. I want you to dial in that pace so that you can allow for potential cardiac drift throughout the course of your run. So again, three steps to dial in your specific heart rate pace. Number one, drop the ego. Number two, jog in place so your body can get used to the motion of running while maintaining a specific heart rate. Number three, start inching your way forward, gradually exposing yourself to more and more intensity until you get to the bottom of your specific heart rate zone, at which point you lock that in and enjoy your run. That's all for today, guys. Leave me a comment letting me know if these tips were helpful for you. Now head on out there, seek your elite, God bless, and I will see you next time.